I'm Melissa. I'm Egizio. And we are a non-traditional New York love story. I think what's wrong about Valentine's Day is it becomes all about the card, all about the present, all about the romantic dinner or the roses. Valentine's Day should be every day. Enjoy what you have. Yes, but is, Valentine is, is about uh, love, so it doesn't have to be your romantic love, but right. uh, romantic can be with your dog, with your uh, best friend, with your girlfriend, with whoever you have and you really mean, but not get desperate because nobody will kiss you. We just have a gay escapade, literally, and, and I think it's the deepest love because boyfriends come and go and honestly husbands can come and go and you hope... These days, yes. You hope to have... My parents were married for almost 50 years and my grandparents were married for 60 and I hope my son finds somebody that he stays forever with. But my Valentine's Day wish for anyone who's not single, who's not in a relationship is to just celebrate the love that is there. And I think our friendship is an eternal, beautiful love. And even if I am so, I'm getting so old, she gave me the enthusiasm that maybe I should start again, <laughs> hoping in a future relationship. Isn't that nice? So like, he helped me. He said, yeah. you must fall in love again because it will be like a broom and clear out the cobwebs of your last relationship. <laughs> And, I, and he, I've inspired him to date for the first time after 9 We'll, see. we'll, we'll see. see. It didn't happen yet, but uh, I, am, uh, I am optimistic. There's something beautiful. If you can take pleasure in other people's love, if you, it doesn't have to be your date with somebody else. I have found something that I really enjoy is seeing other people in good relationships because it gives me hope that eventually I can find that too. Yeah. And so I really encourage people, instead of like seeing somebody kiss on a cafe and being like, ew, or that's not for me, or how come I can't have that? I think having the generosity of spirit to say, ah, it's love. And love is, yeah. love is possible. And there's something else that um, I always tell to, to my young f uh, friends, I always say that it's so important to to try to love, even if it doesn't work. So it's better one more marriage than one less divorce. Because it means if you don't get divorced and remarry, it means that you, are, you become cynic, you don't want to try anymore. But if you really want to, to go through to another marriage, means that you hope that this time will work. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? So this is my true story. The city mouse left her spouse and house on the 20th floor to find her joie de vie with her family. Back in Vermont once more, now I'm in love. In la 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 love. I'm in love. I'm in love. In love with two ends. Life is magnifique, cause every other week I'm with my son and chic Soho neighbor. A Jitsio says I'm a volcano, and he's Merlin, Auntie Mame, and Kramer. Now I'm in love. My midlife renaissance adventure My son and my dog and my colorful kin And life at the Wilburton Inn Yes, I'm in love In la 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 love I'm in love I'm in love Woo! Yay! Thank you, NBC! Yay. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.